you know what I kind of find very comical? That there's people being helpful, right? Who's actually getting the help that they need, right? But when it comes to certain people, they're like they're willing to help out others. But when you need help, they kind of say, fuck off, pretty much, or you deserve to starve. Or that you don't deserve the proper help. Pretty much it's like a weird scenario. And I really don't think people understand how karma works in that category. On all types of levels. Because it's kind of weird that there's a scenario that might be called for karma honestly cheerfully because it's kind of weird how they're being helped right But whenever you need something, it's kind of like a scenario of pretty much that we don't care. We're going to make you suffer. Okay. But remember, remember how karma works. You make me suffer. You make it to where I can't have any help. That's rightfully a judgment call. For karma to strike down upon you. In all types of levels. So. If I don't get the proper help. That I need. I'm going to let God. My ancestors. In the universe. Take care of it. Because I know something got fucked with. Grandpa left some money. For me. And it got fucked with and screwed with where I don't see it. It never came to me. It was given to Kelly and fucking Nancy. It's pretty much fuck me, screw me. I don't fucking matter. Well, you want to know something? Just because you did that and that would probably be the money that I need to help myself right now. And you want to be greedy fucking bastards to me? You want to be greedy. God don't like ugly. And I know Grandpa Larry is watching this right now. In life and time. Grandpa's seeing this. That you're treating me differently. But you would help out others. But like I said, karma has a funny way of showing favoritism God don't like greedy people and if you don't help out certain people in the correct way and you make them suffer and go without karma will be knocking very quickly so people need does need to be careful on how you treat others if you decide to help out somebody else and you're leaving somebody out who really cheerfully needs the help. Remember, God knows all and sees all, can hear all, so can the dead. I know Grandma Palmer's watching, my mother's watching, Grandpa Larry's watching too. And other family members on top of that. And my ancestors. So like I said. I should somewhat have somewhat help. Of what I need. Like food. Cigarettes. Woman products. Bathroom cleaning stuff. That's actually a need. Not a want. There is a difference there. But first, my bills have to be paid for. My bills come first before I can know what I can get later on. 
But like I said, karma has a funny way of showing people that you want to favoritism somebody or treat somebody poorly. You want to make them suffer. God's going to make you suffer. There's consequences to that. I believe in karma hard fucking core. So keep testing the waters. Keep building up bad karma. But like I said, I do deserve to have somewhat hope. After my bills are paid, I'm going to need food. I'm going to need stuff to clean my apartment with. I am going to need some cigarettes. This would have been perfect timing to whenever Grandpa left me some money. And I haven't seen it. So, like I said, karma and God has a very funny way of making somebody wake up to a reality check. You make somebody feel like they don't deserve anything or you feel like you don't need to help them. Never had an issue with Grandpa Larry when he was alive. When I needed food, cigarettes, it was never a fucking problem. But like I said, it's out of my hands. I'm going to let karma, God, and the universe, and my ancestors deal with this. So, heave. Well, actually, it's not a heave because they're tired of seeing me struggling. But just like I said... This is not me being mean, not being cruel. I'm just speaking truth and speaking facts. Be careful how you treat me. And try to be a little bit nicer to me. I will try to do the exact same thing. I will try to be nicer to you. Remember, karma never misses an address. Karma never misses a person. I believe in karma. And that's what people are building up. For it to be. It's pretty much. Tread lightly. Is what pretty much God is saying. In warning. Tread lightly. You treat somebody like shit. You think. That they don't deserve anything. It's going to happen right back at you. Think about that. Think before how you treat others. But like I said. After my bills are paid, every bill by myself, that I am going to need stuff from the store. And hopefully I do get the help. If not, karma is going to be knocking at people's doors very quickly. Have a nice day.